This is Michaela McLean, and you're listening to Beauty by Design. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. We're going to chat um, about the Aries new moon solar eclipse today. And some of this is going to sound like a little bit of repeat because basically we just had an Aries new moon at the beginning of Aries season and we're closing it out with another new moon. Um, that happens, <laughs> you know, you, you get that extra, that extra moon situation. And we are also in the thick of eclipse season at this point. Um, some cool stuff, you know, it's like the nodes are wrapping up come July, they will be shifting officially into the Aries Libra axis, moving from the Taurus Scorpio axis. So anyway, we're going to get into that. Like I said, some of this will sound like repeat, but it's in a different gate, of course. So new details, new details on the eclipse the clips piece is like throwing the the wrench in the work. So before we get into it, um, I just want to let you know my golden experience guide, your energetic marketing guide is live available for purchase uh, at goldenexperienceguide.com. And it is at the intro price of $3.99 only until May 1st. May 1st, the price goes up to $5.99. Ashley is adding a module, going to take people through like how the two of us working together with human design over the last few years has really impacted her, her life, her business, everything. And really share and walk people through like her synthesis, which I think is so cool. I'm so excited to, to see that. Um, we're going to have a golden hour, which is a free gathering on April 30th. Again, goldenexperienceguide.com. Head over there to sign up for it. Um, you can you can come, one, just join the community. It's free. And it's you meet so many cool people who are all estheticians. Um, come hang out with us. And th the April 30th one is specifically going to be to chat about my course. Um, I'll answer questions, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, the community there is building in more ways than one. I don't want to say too much on on her behalf, but um, things are things are moving and shifting, exciting, cool stuff. Um, when you purchase anything, you get lifetime access. You get access to all the updates that come, you know, the additions of the extra modules and things, and of course, office hours, like time time with the educators like myself you know, to, to hop on, to talk, you get the community. And, um, she's just so much about building a, a very strong aesthetics community. And so I very much, if that, if that, that sounds like something you need in a really welcoming place to, to receive that, um, it's the place. Okay. So, so there's that, of course, you know, get my free guide, $11 master classes. All the master classes are inside my course, um, at golden experience. What else? Clear Skin Yoga Nidra. Again, I am I am limiting my availability <laughs> big time for one on ones um, because I'm making room. I'm like I'm moving into education mode, and it's time. It's just time. It's time. It's time. So those are ways to like get to get to work with me that that maybe are not not in the one on one capacity, but it's time to learn. I'm I'm ready to. To kind of step into that spreading spreading this knowledge and wisdom to my aesthetics people so that they can they can do something with it in their treatment room and help their patients and clients even better so um so yeah so there's that uh I'm trying to think i feel like there's so much so many other things happening oh there's a really cool i just wrapped this up yesterday my my piece of the project but a really cool little fox launch that is coming, I believe, next week. Let's just say it's very international. Um, I'm super excited to see what happens with uh, with some of this stuff. So I got so many irons in the fire with so many different friends and things. And I don't know, just get ready. Hot girl summer. Uh, anyway, let's get on to it. Um, this new moon is occurring tomorrow, Wednesday, April 19th at 9, 12 p.m. Pacific. And the eclipse is just a couple minutes later, 9, 16 p.m. If we want to get really, really, really line one about it. 
where you're like, why does she keep talking about being a line one? Take my course. We get into all the lines and all the profiles. Okay, so normally new moons are, are considered that time for planting seeds, setting intentions, you know, creating the life you want. Six months later, you get the corresponding full moon. Um, but in eclipse season, you know, things are a little bit different. And they they contain potential for major change and timeline shifts, rebooting. I like to think of it as a time to take your hands off the wheel, you know, release that illusion of control and just let the universe god the divine take over for your best interest so you know and and while we're on the subject it's like why you know the why is that the eclipses are involved i already mentioned the nodes of the moon my obsession i love the nodes um they're not planets they're sensitive points they're mathematical points in the chart we all have our own personal north and south node placement in our chart so our own karma dharma placements um and then you know, just like anything, there's what's going on in the sky and happening and affecting everyone, the collective at this moment. So again, you know, we currently have our, our set of nodes, but again, things are shifting. These shift every 18 months and actually are the one thing they move retrograde in the chart. Um, which by the way, I think if you pop back to the April transits I do with Ryan, we talk about that. And of course, the 2023 preview from this winter, we talk about the nodes. Um, there will be something coming about the nodes, I promise. Some a class, classes. I've just been, it's been sitting on, I've been sitting on it for a while, but anyway, I'm obsessed. It's my favorite thing. Back, back to business. So eclipses, right? Like I said, it's that it's that time to just hands off the wheel, you know, like just relax and 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 allow. Um, you know, the solar eclipse, which is this one, solar eclipse happen at the new moons, and they're associated uh, you know, with new beginnings, plot twists, unexpected changes, the start of something exciting. It's the universe redirecting us to be more on course and in alignment with our dharma, our purpose, our why. So eclipse, so in general, either either way, they're considered wild cards. You know, it's like a time period when the sun and the moon are not functioning the way they normally do. So we can take this opportunity, you know, to really it, it like allow this to direct us like when we get to the end and i go through all the houses of where this would be impacting you the gate that it's going to be in you know it's like whoa that's a place to like focus fo focus around you know these ideas like what in my life does need to change where do i where's it like not doesn't behoove me to turn back um the change from eclipses definitely reverberate for months to come you know kind of setting off a bit of a chain reaction and you know, like people leave, things happen, new things come in. Hopefully it's just making way for bigger and better, right? Oftentimes you just kind of see like, yeah, like shifts. It's like timeline speeding up. I'm always like, be really mindful. Like if you're like, whoa, what does this mean? I'm like, follow your strategy and authority. Like that's the best advice, you know? Um so at this at this time, the solar eclipse is basically it's the new moon multiplied, you know, electrified new beginnings. I think that's really exciting. Um, again, Ryan and I talk about this, the transits, we recorded the May transits, we touch on this again. So plenty of it sprinkled without. But yeah, it's like, it's the universe, the divine just kind of like shunting us where we need to go, like ushering us, you know, like, okay, okay stop over there let's move you over here um so again plot twist and it's always like the only way out is through so um on a technical level the solar eclipse happens when the moon stands between the sun and the earth blocking out the sun's bright radiant light so getting on to it um we've got the embodied beauty practices right so again like always i'm always like exfoliate exfoliate and meditate um <laughs> just get yourself prepped you know like 
when you dermaplane, you're going to get a much better result of whatever you put on afterward, right? You, you microneedle, you make way, and then you're like, oh, let me put the topical C on. Let me, you know, like you're clearing a pathway by by getting, getting other things out of the way. It's just, it just makes sense. So think of it that in that regard. Um, definitely time, I always suggest it's like, fresh sheets, fresh towels, run the vacuum, open the windows, like, you know, move stagnant energy. This is, this is definitely a time to do that, you know, clean things, just wipe the slate clean in all the ways, literally and figuratively. So again, you know, like I said, this is going to sound a little bit repeat, but it's like, Hey, this is a second chance. And you get to do it like with, with the whole, like, Whoa, this is a new moon, like multiplied on steroids. That's cool. So let's do it again. Uh, Aries beauty rituals. You know, I always start with the key words, independence, courage, bravery, fierceness, being being focused on like what you you are about, you, what you're doing, leadership, initiation, action, firepower. Um, again, this is the warrior archetype. They're unafraid to be a trailblazer. You know, like they're not looking for the paved path. They're like, let me let me create one for everybody else coming behind me. Again, cardinal fire, it's the first sign of the zodiac. And this is actually happening now at the end of the sign. Like we're going to have this eclipse and then boom, we move right into Taurus season. So it's kind of like, this is <laughs> in a way I'm going to like, ooh, this is cool. Like new moon, this is like your last shot at the beginning of the new astrological season. So legit, what are you wanting to, like, what do you want the rest of this astrological year to be about here's your opportunity aries of course is ruled by mars the god of war um your inner firepower where you're a warrior action passion you know that yang motivation drive I was like can be a little impulsive and aggressive he's spicy um and in in human design mars is immature it's irresponsible until it's refined over time where it can serve as a powerfully wise energy in your chart so again fun time to get curious and explore your natal mars placements um i said this last time but i have my conscious personality mars you know the black one in pisces in day 25.2 and my unconscious one in that's the red one in gate 61.1 you know they're two of my very favorite gates and they're just yeah i just love those gates so much um but it's such a fun it's a fun thing to look at especially you know through like the lens of the gene keys there's a lot of detail um of there's just more again you want more go back and listen to the previous aries uh new moon one but a lot to do with how you're like serving people and healing yourself so again you know with mars energy it's just essential that we channel it into something constructive versus destructive um and you know like i said take take some time explore your mars placements maybe if that if that appeals to you of like how am i going to use my momentum how am i going to use my own firepower again at this time where you're like well what do i want out of this year what do i want out of 2023 um of course you could take a salt bath release cleanse you know you're cleansing the palate new cycle new cycle coming well like i said we're gonna like go right into taurus season but for aries again i love i love ginger i love that sort of like i actually love ginger like when i have sushi i'm always like can i have like a whole plate of ginger please to go with all of this just mm, yummy um but anyway that's that's a great one to spice things up but vetiver is a wonderful oil for for also this time period if you're like no i need to ground and actually i really like this for the gate that we're gonna be in versus the one that we started uh airy season with so that's that's a little nugget we'll get there um vetiver is so grounding and it's like gate three is where this eclipse is happening and sorry we're not we're not at that point yet but it's where it's happening and it does benefit from some grounding and some structure so vetiver would be ideal i love that oil so much regardless um okay so then on the crystal front again diamonds are traditionally associated with aries and they're considered that cooling it's kind of like the vetiver it's, Ooh, this is grounding diamonds are cooling stones to aries fiery vibe they kind of help temper that they are amazing amplifiers of energy so you go with diamonds like 
r- regular diamonds, you go with Herkmer diamonds, ruby, citrine, and pyrite. All of those are going to like nurture that Aries, um, yeah, that Aries vibe. And of course, clear quartz is amazing always for like the bath because quartz is water safe and it's just an amplifier of like whatever you're putting in there, whether that's oils, herbs, flower petals, you know, you could do like red rose petals in your bath and a clear quartz, maybe, you know, like a little drop of something and, you know, whatever essential oil you're loving. Um, yeah. And just like soak up this energy and like it, make it, make it good. So uh, again, element related activities, martial arts, Bikram yoga. I love to make those suggestions for this time period. It's like the stuff that is a little bit more like, ooh, spicy, you know, maybe it's a kickboxing class or something, but that you're doing, you're doing something that, um, yeah, really like, you know, harnesses the firepower. So again, Aries rules the first house, which is the one that's about me, myself, and I'm all about you. Um, so again, what do I want out of 2023? This is the super powered, you know, time that you can consider that. Uh, Aries in medical astrology, it rules the head. So, you know, again, I'm always like, I'm an earring person. Um, wear, wear the diamond earrings if you have them. It's like a great, great time to do that. Or, you know, really big statement earrings because Aries not afraid to do that either. So whatever, whatever kind of speaks to you. Um, I'm going to include, I was kind of toying with, I, I've been more experimental lately and I'm like, no, you know what? I'm going to, I am going to shift back to the meditations because I like those for the treatment room. So I'm going to, I'm going to reload, reload an Aries meditation for you. So go check that out. Um, again, light your candles, light your little luxury candles or have a fire, like a fire pit, you know, or the fireplace depending on where you're at it's still chilly here i'm in the northwest so um we're still wearing it's mid-april i'm still wearing a coat and a scarf half the time um so you might be able to have one we have we have little fire pits all summer long so it's like yeah just nurture the fire element right now is great um you wear red lips red nails you know bring the red roses into your space and then of course, like journaling. And and again, with with this being an eclipse, um, I keep saying that. I'm like, you know, what am I wanting out of this year? Like, what is it? I can't remember if I've said this, but I don't, I'm not really into vision boards. However, like about November, this past November, I suddenly I saw something and I was like, I'm gonna make something on Canva this year. And I have since I went real pictures. I wanted it to be very, um, very real. I re- was able to write everything I wanted. You know, made this cool collage, and then I, I printed it off. It's in my bathroom. Um, I put a smaller one in the front of my journal. I have it in a few places, and it's kind of wild because you know, like with the regular calendar, I'm like, you know, we, we're in the we've already passed first quarter, and I'm like, whoa, a lot of this stuff is happening happening and we're on the way to happening you know there's there's energy and motion with it and that's very exciting so um this could be a time to do that journal it out whatever whatever you feel like um so that brings us to where is this happening this is all happening in gate three we just i just put the gate three episode out the other day there is a new reel up to you know use this energy in the treatment room of course some tips and tricks for estheticians and and people you know injectors and adjacent adjacent professionals but um gate three is known as difficult at difficulty at the beginning the gate of ordering and it's the thing that brings order to the mutative pulse frequency and um you know three is all about bringing new things in the world going from something to nothing the things that get off to a bumpy chaotic start but you know when you persevere you it's like this is where positive change and evolution comes from so you know the the very positive thing about this because i feel like i have f- so many friends going through like gate three time like right now a gate three theme where there's frustration at the limitation you know there's the uh, the old way of doing things <laughs> and it's like no i'm ready for the new um or just feeling like things are very chaotic 
you know, being used to success in one version of your business or your life. And then, you know, it's time for the next and you're, and and it's like, it hasn't unfolded yet. You haven't (laughs) said this in the real, you got to give your flower time to bloom. You know, you're holding yourself to, to just a certain standard that you're like, well, the new iteration isn't there yet. And that's okay. We we're just judging ourselves. So, you know, the high expression with three is like, newness innovation through play lightness recognizing (laughs) controls and illusion okay get comfortable with the fact that we're constantly evolving but it cannot be forced you know we don't necessarily see the work of the universe going on behind the scenes we just have to trust you know trust in divine timing patience is a virtue right this is like just knowing we're, you, you know, you're like, if you don't mow the lawn, it gets messy. Weeds come in. It's like, there's always this bringing order to chaos. It's a constant, it's a, it's just a constant, like recycling of energy. It's like, I cut the lawn it looks, I don't, I don't cut the lawn. My husband does, but you know what I mean? I'm using the analogy, but it's like, you cut the lawn and it looks great. And then everything gets chaotic again. And then you, you know what I mean? It's just like this, this never ending process. It's the laundry piling up. It's, it's anything. It's like, you got to clean the bathroom every week, right? Looks, you brought order to the chaos and then it happens again. That is the nature of our universe. And so when you realize, um, I have a friend in mind specifically right now where, you know, the theme is really prominent. It's like, girl, this is just the next hurdle to overcome. This is just the next thing to bring order to. And then, and we'll have a new theme. And it's always, I think that's it. It's like always about overcoming, but slow and steady wins the race. Being patient is so important. This is a sacral energy and sacral energy. The cool thing about it as a sacral being myself, it's like, it's consistent. It's like, if you consistently apply yourself in this way, in this area of your life toward this thing, toward what you want, what I keep saying, 2023, what do you really want out of it? You will see results. It will happen over time. You just have to allow for the unfolding. Okay, I'm off my soapbox. I'm saying this as much for myself <laughs> as for anybody else. Um, so let's take let's take this thought. Um, you know, I guess the question, yeah, would be like, what am I, what am I bringing? What am I intentionally bringing order to? You know, where am I bringing order to the chaos in my life? And I think getting very intentional about that is so important, right? Not willy-nilly, like really this, what going back to that vision board thing. I'm like, if I just keep saying to my friends, I'm like, you know what? If things don't contribute to the vision on the board, they, they don't, they don't get to come into my life at this point. Those are the old things that I'm saying yes to, because I had, you have a big vision. I surrender to my design of like, you know, I'm responding, let, let things come in, let them show up, you know, but this is where I'm wanting to go. I don't know how I'm going to get there. That part I'm releasing. I just know that there's, there's somewhere I'm very much called to. So I'm bringing order to that chaos, right? Okay. So our equation here, it's like, this is a new moon, solar eclipse, right? New moon on steroids. We are like... You know, you might be planting seeds you didn't realize. You thought, oh, I was planting mini pumpkins and instead you're planting like shimbo pumpkins. You know, these these things that win like 500 pounds. I don't know. Just it's a thought and go with it. So we've got this, this super supercharged new moon. We have gate three, the order to chaos, you know, difficulty at the beginning, but girl, hang in there. And then the house that it's happening in. So of course, I'm going to rattle these off listen and apply to your rising sign that's going to let you know what area of your life astrologically this is applying to so if you're in aries rising you're planning this new moon you're bringing order to chaos in in the house of self personal identity and appearance taurus rising this is your you're bringing bringing the order to the spirituality healing surrender retreat and mysticism gemini rising it's community friend groups social network humanitarianism cancer rising it's career professional, public status, discipline, and achievement. Leo rising, it's higher learning world, travel, philosophy, and religion. 
Virgo like me, Virgo, Virgo rising, shadow work, power and control and deep transformation. Libra rising, it's one-on-one -on -one relationships, partnerships and collaborations. Scorpio rising, everyday work, habits, routines, health and wellness. Sagittarius rising, you're bringing that order to creative self-expression, fun, children, romance and charisma. Capricorn rising, it's home environment, family, nurturing and heritage. Aquarius rising, you're bringing it to your mind, the mental plane, communication, local travel and socialization. And then Pisces rising, you're bringing that order and structure, you know, the getting it together around the physical body, personal possessions, values, and wealth. So again, this impacts my eighth house. Um, like I said, deep transformation, you know, lots of lots of interesting things. We're all getting this full channel, FYI, for the for the time being. It it Pluto is in gate 60 right now. And so we are, we're going to be experiencing that whole, um, the mutation, <laughs> the pull. So I'm like, buckle up, take advantage of it. Let's do the thing, you know, get serious about this. Um, and on that note, if you like a beauty ritual, check out the Aries beauty ritual that I will pop on. Um, of course, you always get bonus points for wearing a face mask or getting a facial while listening to this. You know, if you're in the treatment room, um, play the meditations. I'm always like, me, I'm going to be wearing my little fox blue lagoon mask, using my chill wands, probably in the bath and just, you know, enjoying myself that way. Okay. I will be back soon with more. Um, of course, if you found value in this, I would love it if you would leave the podcast a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts because it just helps get out to more people. Of course, check out my golden experience guide. Um, I was just on Good Skin Circle. There's a two-part episode. If you want a lot of behind the scenes, we go deep into what, what's going on in the course and how it's helped Ashley and Josh, both, again, personally, professionally, in all the ways. Um, just so fun to talk to my friends about about the whole, all of it, you know, um, free guide you can sign up and get, you know, the link is links in the show notes. The link is in my Instagram bio at Michaela McLean, my $11 master classes, clear skin yoga, Nidra, so much stuff coming out. I know you're going to bore you just, um, there you go. <laughs> uh, again, check out the meditation and yeah. I will be back soon with more, of course. Until next time, have a beautiful day.